now that we have our perimeter metals and our wood buildup complete, we're going to install the bird stop. And this is a profiled piece that fits on the uh, drip edge. It has a quarter inch downturn and a three quarter inch overhang, which provides a ledge for the uh, tile to set in. And the water running off the roof will not run down your fascia but drip into the gutter system or off the roof. This profile piece has a, a higher and a lower level. The higher level being the cap area of the tile and the lower area being the pan. And I'm placing these screws in the cap area so that the tile will clear the screw head when it's placed on the bird stop. I'm going to screw this in, not penetrating the valley. The valley flashing cannot be penetrated with any additional screws. And now I'm going to complete the bird stop on the other side of the valley, and I'll start it about two inches from the center of the valley, and then cut it off at the gable. And I've made a couple of marks where it's going to interfere with the two by two. I'm simply going to notch that to allow the bird stop uh, to go up flush to the fascia. You can also pass underneath that 2x2 two two if you don't already have it fastened. Now I'm going to place the screws directly behind the, uh, the barrel portion of the bird stop, again so the tile doesn't lay on the screw heads. You can see that the bird stop extends over into the valley. The bird stop is just butted up one to the other. It's not overlapped. And I've marked it at the corner where I'm going to cut it. And uh, there's no need to tab this around or miter it like we did the fascia metal. Now, I've cut it right at the edge of the roof, and after I place it, I'm going to eliminate anything that passes the corner of the drip edge. This piece doesn't get tabbed around the corner or uh, wrapped or mitered. It simply gets cut straight off. The important thing when going through this corner with the bird stop is that the uh, scalloped edges in the front of the bird stop remain symmetrical, uh, almost a mirror image of each other about the corner. Also, you don't want to make a complete miter uh, of the bird stop. It'll interfere with the end cap later. It doesn't really matter how you finish off this little bit in here because it'll all get covered up later with the end cap, as you'll see. The screws are spaced approximately six inches apart from each other directly behind the raised areas of the face of the bird stop. To do this dormer, I'll need to cut out a section of this bird stop so it'll pass the front of this dormer to the other side. This is important because it keeps the tile layout consistent from one side of the dormer to the other.